Imagine this. By 2100, major cities in the US could be swimming pools. No, this isn't a sci-fi plot twist. Today, we're exploring a future where rising sea levels, driven by climate change, reshape our coastal landscapes. Picture the ocean, inching closer to our cities, with projections showing a potential rise of up to six feet by century's end. This looming aquatic advance threatens to engulf states with extensive coastlines, forever altering maps and lives. So, which states should start investing in snorkels? Let's dive in. First off, why are the oceans gate-crashing our cities? Well, imagine the Earth wearing an oversized sweater that's slowly shrinking. That sweater is our ocean, and it's getting tighter due to two main troublemakers, melting ice caps and thermal expansion. Let's break it down with an ice cube analogy. Picture a glass filled to the brim with ice and water. As the ice, representing our polar ice caps, melts, contrary to what you might think, the water level doesn't rise. That's because the ice is already in the water. But here's the twist. On Earth, much of our ice isn't in the ocean's glass, it's on land. When it melts, it runs off into the ocean, causing sea levels to rise. Now, add a bit of heat to our scenario. Warmer water expands. Think of it as the water molecules getting a bit too energetic and needing more room. This thermal expansion further contributes to our swelling oceans. Now that we know the culprits, let's see who's on the front line. Sunshine state more like submarine state soon. Florida, the land of beaches, palm trees, and increasingly concerns over rising sea levels. This peninsula is particularly prone to the whims of water, surrounded on three sides by the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Cities like Miami are on the front lines, where sunny day flooding has become more of a regular event than a rare occurrence. The situation is stark. Dynamic maps of the region show a troubling future, with projections indicating significant parts of Miami could be regularly underwater by the end of the century. The Everglades, vital for their biodiversity and as a natural water filtration system, are also at risk, potentially altering Florida's landscape and its ability to manage water resources effectively. The state's unique topography, with its low elevation and porous limestone foundation, makes it particularly vulnerable to even slight rises in sea levels. As waters encroach, the challenges of coastal erosion, saltwater intrusion into freshwater supplies, and habitat loss escalate dramatically. Next up, another state that might want to start its own navy. In Louisiana, the jazz might stay, but the land may not. This vibrant state, known for its rich culture and spirited celebrations, faces a grim reality as it's slowly swallowed by the sea. Louisiana's coastline is vanishing at an alarming rate, with natural subsidence and the relentless rise in sea levels contributing to this ecological predicament. Every hour, Louisiana loses about a football field's worth of land. This staggering loss is not just a number, it's a disaster in slow motion affecting communities, wildlife habitats, and essential industries. The intricate web of bayous and marshlands, which are crucial for buffering storm surges, are disappearing, leaving cities like New Orleans increasingly vulnerable to hurricanes and floods. The situation in New Orleans is particularly dire. As sea levels continue to rise, the city's legendary levees and pumps face an uphill battle against the encroaching waters pertinent, threatening its very existence. Moving up the coast, our next state has its fair share of water woes. Surfs up? More like cities down in California. As the waves roll in, the risks are piling up for coastal cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. These bustling metropolises, known for their iconic shorelines, face a future where the Pacific is more than just a view, it's a threat. In San Francisco, the majestic Golden Gate might soon look over a very different scene. Historical data shows an alarming trend. Sea levels have been rising steadily. If projections hold true, parts of the Bay Area could be underwater by the end of the century, transforming Silicon Valley from a tech hub to a potential submarine innovation zone. Los Angeles, with its sprawling coastline, isn't faring much better. The economic implications are staggering. Imagine the costs of relocating infrastructure, the hit to tourism, and the potential loss of homes and businesses. It's a plot twist that Hollywood couldn't have scripted better. From sunny beaches to our next soggy state, Big Apple or Big Aquarium. New York City, an iconic metropolis known for its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, now faces a watery threat. 
Lower Manhattan in particular is in the spotlight as it wrestles with the rising tides. This financial and cultural hub, which has seen historic floods disrupt its rhythm, is now on the front line of the climate crisis. The city's flood management efforts are robust yet constantly evolving. From the deployment of temporary flood barriers to the development of more permanent solutions like the proposed seawall, New York is in a race against time. These initiatives are critical as projections show an alarming increase in flood frequency and intensity in the coming decades. The very shape of the city's coastline is expected to be redrawn by the encroaching waters. As engineers and policymakers collaborate on these futuristic flood defenses, the question remains, will it be enough to keep the city from turning into a modern-day Atlantis? Not just the East Coast, the West has its contenders too. Everything's bigger in Texas, including its flooding problems. In the heart of the Gulf Coast, cities like Houston and Galveston face a turbulent future. These urban areas, vibrant and bustling, are becoming increasingly vulnerable to the whims of nature, amplified by climate change. Houston, a sprawling metropolis, has endured its share of water woes. The city's flat terrain and expansive development make it particularly susceptible to flooding. Each hurricane season brings a renewed sense of dread as warmer oceans and rising sea levels promise more frequent and severe storms. Hurricane Harvey, for instance, was a stark reminder, turning streets into rivers and homes into islands. Galveston isn't faring much better. This coastal city, with its historic charm, faces the dual threats of eroding beaches and surging tides. The rising sea levels are not just a forecast for the future, they are a present reality, gnawing away at the land residents call home. As we leave the Lone Star State, we're crossing over to a state known for its tech, not its tides. New Jersey, soon to be New Water Sea. Nestled on the East Coast, this state is famous for its bustling boardwalks and sandy beaches, but it's also becoming known for its vulnerability to flooding. Coastal and low-lying areas like the iconic Jersey Shore are under significant threat due to rising sea levels and increasingly severe weather patterns. In recent years, we've seen how storm surges can wreak havoc across these regions. Superstorm Sandy is a stark reminder having left a trail of destruction in its wake. The surge overwhelmed barriers, flooded communities, and caused billions in damages, illustrating just how exposed New Jersey is to these watery threats. Looking ahead, the prognosis isn't much brighter. With climate models predicting even higher sea levels, the future could see much of New Jersey's coastal charm submerged. Efforts to bolster defenses are underway, but the question remains, will they be enough to hold back the rising tides? Heading back to the west, where the sea level stakes are high. Not just Seattle's coffee scene is getting steamy, their sea level is too. As the Pacific Northwest faces a rising tide, the coastal and estuarine regions around Puget Sound are particularly vulnerable. This jewel of Washington state, known for its lush landscapes and vibrant marine life, is now under the microscope of climate change. The rising sea levels threaten to engulf the intricate estuaries that dot the sound, jeopardizing habitats for salmon, orcas, and countless other species. As these waters creep closer to urban thresholds, cities like Tacoma and Olympia are re-evaluating their seaside strategies. The implications for these urban areas are profound, ranging from disrupted transportation networks to potential losses in real estate and public land. In Seattle, efforts are underway to reinforce waterfronts and update drainage systems, but the clock ticks loudly against a backdrop of increasing environmental concerns. As the waters rise, so does the urgency for solutions that encompass both human and ecological well-being. Finally, let's round this off with a state that's more than just peaches, Georgia on my mind, and water on its land. In the heart of the South, Georgia faces its own unique set of challenges as water levels rise. The picturesque city of Savannah, known for its historic architecture and cobblestone streets, finds itself increasingly vulnerable. Here, the encroaching waters threaten not just the city's charm, but its very foundation. Moving inland, Georgia's vast agricultural sectors are also at risk. Imagine vast fields of peaches and pecans, fundamental to the state's economy, now facing the threat of saltwater intrusion. This salty dilemma could degrade soil quality, diminish crop yields, and disrupt the lives of local farmers. Historical sites throughout the state 
testimonies to Georgia's rich past, are under siege as well. Iconic landmarks, from the antebellum homes in Savannah to the ancient Native American mounds, could one day be submerged or severely damaged by the relentless rise of water levels. As we can see, water doesn't discriminate. Ten states, one watery fate. As we've explored from Florida's sinking shores to Washington's rising tides, the threat of submersion looms large. These states, each with its unique charm and challenges, face a common adversary, rising sea levels. It's a stark reminder of the urgency for preparedness. Proactive measures, from bolstering coastal defenses to embracing sustainable practices, are not just advisable, they are imperative. The time to act is now, before parts of our map start disappearing. Stay informed, stay prepared, and let's keep our states above water.